playing for Jenna's temporary farewell at Sago was Taksim, creators of these great CDs that many of us have. Hegman Okan plays the oud, Mal Steen is on Darabuka, and the venerable leader of the band, Suren Baronian. I think you have to be more on your, more aware when you're playing for a dancer. Uh -huh. Yeah, when you're playing for a party, it's more or less loose. It's easier. It's easy. We play, you know, weddings and parties. We also play in. We played in some other restaurants. Uh, where? Uh, there was Marrakesh West, the Mogador. We played in these places for quite a number of years. Like Mogador, we played in about for 15 years, and Marrakesh West for three or four years. And we we do a lot of traveling. You know, to Spain, Switzerland, Ireland, Italy, Turkey, Greece, wow. Hawaii, California. Tell us about your ethnic background. Uh, my parents are Armenian, they're from Turkey. I like playing for parties, I like playing for dances, I like playing at concerts, I like playing if there's two people in the audience, and I like if there's thousands. I love playing. What about dancers, say, playing zills as a musical instrument? Does it help? Oh, uh, now you hit a sore spot. <laughs> Most of them shouldn't be playing. I love dancers. I love playing for dancers, but there are too many who play very poorly, and they don't right. realize that it happens to be an instrument that really sticks out. You know? Right, right. And, uh, and, and they use it for a prop. 
and it's not a prop, it's a musical instrument. Please tell us about the venues where you perform. Well, by the time I tell you, our, our set will be over. You know, I can't. And we've been all over the world, actually. You know. uh -huh. We play, we, we're from New York. We right. live in New York. We go to Europe every year. Uh -huh. We go to Hawaii, you know, and... Uh, we're here every Thursday. We're here every Thursday. Every yeah. Thursday at Sago, which is very nice here. And we do lots of traveling as well. You know. right. And when we do traveling, other musicians take our place here. And we come back and we see. Okay. And that's my life. I think it's a wonderful life. It is. I'm very lucky. I'm fortunate. I mean, I think it's a privilege really to be able to play music. Yeah. It's a privilege. Thank you so much. But you have to move faster because I want to play. Yes, yes. Quick, I'm, quick, moving, quick. I'm moving here. Yeah, no, this is the important one. Yeah. This, yeah. Okay, now you have been in on dancers playing a percussion instrument, cells. Is that similar to what you said? If if it's if they're good at it, then it's wonderful. Uh -huh. There's dancers that Jenna's very good at it. Amar is good at it, and I've played with dancers that aren't, and it's really annoying because I feel it distracts from their dance and it distracts from the music. So, what is your you know feeling when you play for a dancer, say a drum solo, and she is a musical instrument that performs? To together with you. That's like the best feeling. It's the same thing as performing with wonderful musicians. That's how I approach when I heard the questions about the dancers. When there's a dancer and we're interacting, she's a musician to me. I mean, I see her as it's a conversation. And that's that's what's it's great. When it works, it's wonderful. Thank <laughs> you.